do what is good YouTube and Facebook and everybody out there it is your boy freestyle Steve coming back with it again and today we are doing something rather different we are looking at space OS and what space OS aims to be is a cloud operating system but it's got a little spin on the way you use it it's kind of cool you know being a cloud-based operating system and at the moment I believe it is free although I think in the future there will be you know if, if there's developers that um jump along with it you know that they'll be able to uh, set their price of the price they want for the uh, apps that they will um, release for it and it's it's pretty cool. It's it's definitely um you know the company is <coughs> excuse me sorry about that. The company is Data I believe, and the name of the operating system is Space OS. And like I said, it aims to be a cloud operating system. At the moment, it's fairly easy to um, access. You just need to sign up with uh, your an email and a password. And once you do, you just log in, and you're presented with what seems to be this um, workspace right in front of you I guess you could say this um, environment and if you look on our screen there's a couple of a uh, couple of uh, little movable boxes here there's some embedded YouTube videos it look it looks like and I believe those talk a little bit about it and everything is modular it's kind of cool you know you could uh, look at the video see so when you move them the, they kind of it's kind of sweet you know you can move every, every anything um, anywhere you want and that's what's kind of cool about it you know if, if you look on the bottom you got your little username you could change your icon there you, you click your icon then it goes to um, you know a uh, file browser where you can add your own photo or whatnot there is um the current time and date and green button I believe is on and then this little pink button here is kind of like a menu you know like a start menu to say so if you click it it opens up certain things there's a um, add car to horizon so if this is called space OS I believe horizon it says welcome to horizon jump in by double clicking the discovery icon to the left of this note and installing your first app so that's kinda like you know um, it says jump in by discovery icon so that might be your uh, little app store that comes with it where you can um, install certain apps if you want to you know and this is kind of your welcome message for horizon you could move that or you could um you know delete that and, and and there's you know at the moment there's probably not a whole lot of apps since it just came out the other day so it's, it's fairly um fresh off the dock so uh you know if we double click the discovery app it opens here and it you know it tells you apps you'll adore in your personal cloud so these are basically apps you can install to your uh your um your environment I guess if you want to call it your uh, space OS desktop and, and here's a couple that they you know their top picks to get you started with at the moment it seems like it's it's mainly you know productivity apps and whatnot and then there's more to explore here a couple more you know it's kinda cool kinda cool and there's just a few you know as I mentioned it just came out the other day so it's it's the new kid on the block and let's see if, if you hit explore discovery yeah it just takes you down here featured let's see okay popular there's terminal so it looks like there's there's a few more if, if you via hey that's kinda cool VS code visual studio code meets data space nice that, that's actually really awesome do some uh, so I, I thought there was just you know it was on the featured but if you go to popular there, there's quite a bit more I didn't realize that there was you know so all these you can install to your space OS um, virtual desktop if you want to you know it's kinda cool um, we can go ahead and check how that would work so look there, there <laughs> there's quite a bit I didn't realize there were so many already being the fact that it just um, you know I, I, I was assuming just the front page was what was there but that was just featured and then we went to popular and <laughs> there is quite a bit so you know we can choose them um, any anything we uh 
want to mess with. There's recent, so these must be the latest ones. That's kind of cool. Create installable web apps for any OS. Wow. Awesome. So yeah, it's definitely promising. I, I didn't realize there was so much. But when I first, first looked at it, I just figured, oh, okay, you know, that makes sense. There's only a few, but there's quite a bit. So I guess to, um, let's go ahead and I, I don't want to get too deep into it, but let's just see how this works. So we'll, we'll do web create dialogue, chat with an AI, you dingus. Let's do dialogue. So I assume we click it. Okay, verified by data. Chat with an AI, you dingus. Look, you can even download the app source code used to build the app on space. That's pretty cool, you know, that they, they definitely, um, and it's telling you about this uh, dialogue, access to GPT, blah, 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 you know. Everything uh, comes along with it. So if you want to install it, I believe you go ahead and, you know, and it, it's kind of like gives you a progress bar, like you're in installing something you know, on an actual desktop or over a web interface. That's kind of cool. So, yeah, I, I think that's kind of cool, man. I, I'm kind of interested. I, I know at the moment it's an alpha version 1.0. So, you know, it, it's definitely in its early stages, probably, you know, more now at the moment just to getting to grips with it, messing around, see what works what doesn't you know it even says on the front page you know not to be used for critical work but just for tinkering and messing around and looking at it, it, it it's pretty awesome you know I mean definitely and, and you know this may not appeal to everybody you know most people are, are fine with what they have and they, they get used to a certain um, way of doing things and that's that so it, it may just appeal to a certain niche of people or you know people that are more into technical kind of things or just the latest and greatest technology had to had to take a drink of my coffee there but um, I think it's pretty cool so okay so discovery is the app store so we are in discovery I'm not sure what canvas does but we want to see it so let's go to view on horizon okay so it takes us back to our um, wow look and that was the old home screen so it takes us back to our uh, home screen and there it is look so you know you could move it around and install it you have the options up there you could um that oh delete it I think okay you can open it so you can fully open it you can view the data you could open settings for it you could unpin it you could um there's where you could do a couple other things so that is definitely cool dialogue so is that where I type let's see um, okay no I think that brought up another thing okay so let's see, we'll go here, open app. Wow, so it actually opens into a, uh, I, don't, I don't know if this is, oh, okay, okay. I don't want to mess with it. We have to uh, probably, get, I guess, or could I go there? Is this it? Dialogue, I don't know if that's, you know, new chat. Okay, we have to get a key. I don't want to mess with that now. Maybe we'll mess with that later. But that that's kind of cool, you know. Definitely, the way it um. Okay, it's not moving now. Importing. I don't know what that means. Okay, something just happened. Uh, okay, importing. Maybe it's um importing certain files from it or something. I'm not sure. You know, you do got options right there. Open settings. So if you want to go to the settings of it and here it is you know obviously dialogue there's a keys domain configuration delete app so if we want to just delete it you know kind of like how you would do on a wow that's kind of cool okay let's see if it delete it I don't know if it did maybe all right and that was green. Now it's um, yellow, so it looks like it's busy. Um, but yeah, I mean that was pretty cool. <laughs> you know, there's there's definitely tons, so you you can, you know, choose what you uh, need for your um, workflow, or if you just want to mess around and check out it works and, and you know see what's up. That is pretty cool, though. I don't know. Let's just out of curiosity see what Canvas does. Okay, yeah. Well, that brought us 
back to it looks like our um, our desktop and there's no more glowing uh, yellow button there so that's cool so you know you got your username here in the left corner a little icon when you click that it opens up um, a hard drive or a file browser I'm sorry so then you can choose a custom image if you want time and date this is like your start button you know and if you I believe this is if you have apps installed like like how we installed earlier you could check there if there's any um, updates nothing found so I, you know I don't have a anything yet you could change the theme which is pretty cool you got a light theme dark theme or a system theme so we seem to be in light let's go to dark oh that that's kinda nice look and then um, if we go to a uh, system is kinda like light I believe they, they kinda look the same so cool you got some other settings okay these are um, you know for tokens when using uh, the command when using space CLI command line so you could do command line stuff which is kinda cool account you could look at account stuff we'll leave that there okay and then this little screen right here that seems to be like your workspace like your Windows screen I'm gonna take another drink of coffee give me one second guys So, you know, this is like your Windows environment. So it, it it's kind of cool. See how it shows the two big um, YouTube videos, and they're a little bigger. And then the uh, Discovery icon, the Horizon Welcome, and that little thing. So if you go, um, okay, I think I use the scroll mouse, and then, you know, we can clean it up. And then you can see how on the bottom, see how it was kind of moving over. And then if we want to go back, you know, you just up and down to uh, go the opposite direction that you want to go to and then I think when we go here you can also use the mouse for this so see how it turns I think you could drag back so yeah and it doesn't let unless I think if you have stuff over here then you know I, I could drag instead of to these windows I could drag back to the other ones but for now it just drags to these windows because I don't have stuff over there but you know it's pretty cool there's a lot you can do you, you guys seen the discovery um, icon which is um seems like they got a pretty thorough um app store there so there's lots of stuff you can look at and install and just you know even you might just look through all those apps and be like ooh I want to mess with this or mess with that and you know it's got all the source code and everything so that's kind of cool <coughs> you know it's specifically telling you we're in an early version so obviously there can be bugs or issues Chromium browsers only for now. So I'm on Google Chrome. You know, you could use Chromium um, and any other derivatives of a Chrome, Chromium browsers. Do not use space for anything critical. So it, it's basically telling you, you know, if you're doing like, you know, um, critical work related stuff that you do not want to use it for that stuff, obviously, because there, there's still bugs and, you know, something could happen. So, but for now, just to get to grips with it and, tinkering with what it's got to offer you know that that's kind of awesome I mean that's what I'll probably do I, I don't see myself you know using it for anything well I, I, it's kind of cool it's got the visual studio code thing maybe to practice some school stuff for coding but um just you know at the moment you know I, I wouldn't do any like anything critical with it but it, it's got a lot to it so you know if you just want to tinker with it you know and mess around it and see what you could come with that's kind of cool you know, as I mentioned everything is modular which is um pretty sweet and then what I like about it too is you know you just kind of like click and drag so it, it kinda you know gives you this default like little square kind of um, um shaper and you know you can make it more like a rectangle or a square if you want and then once you release and and, and you know that that's what you're doing you can make it how big you want the um the square or the rectangle I guess you could say template on your um, environment so then once you release it look you have a bunch of options that relate to what you want to do with that um, little square you can embed a YouTube video so if you have the link you know like these big ones on the top I'm not sure what the card app is um, you know a lot of options that have to do with um, apps if, if you just want like a simple like text note kind of thing or if you had a link you know you, you can uh, you can put a link in there and then it, it'll take you to a website or whatever you know if, if you just want to do like like some text and I'll put hi guys 
you know, space OS is fun. And then same thing, you know, you can click out of that and move it where you want. You can, um, you could, I don't know what that means. I don't know if it copies what's inside of it. You could delete it. You have options there to delete it. So that's kind of cool. You know, what's really cool though with it is the whole, what I think is cool is the whole AI, um, app creating thing, you know, and, and for now, you got to remember we are in an early stage with this, but, um, so let's, let's go ahead and give that a little, you know, so we'll go ahead and make something like this maybe. And then create an app with AI. And then, you know, it gives you a prompt and it tells you like, <laughs> basically what kind of app we'll do something simple, you know, probably a simple, uh, calculator probably going to be like a simple, would that be a simple uh, Java or Python calculator? So we'll just do create. You know, and it, it takes a minute. It's doing its little thing there, which is cool. I'm going to take a drink of coffee. Give me one second, guys. So basically, what it's doing is it's um, creating the what I told it in the prompt, a calculator. You know, it might take a minute. It's it's creating an app for you. To, and there we go. Look, that's pretty cool. It created us um, somewhat a calculator. I see um, some buttons there and stuff and whatnot. You got some other options too for it. Um, okay. Oh, okay. There's the rest. Nice. You can make it bigger. Maybe I'll maybe I'll drag it over the YouTube video. We could um see what's actually uh there, you know. Click outside of it. So it's 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 made it kinda big. I don't know um why it's so big. And then you, you could move it if you want. Let's click inside of it and go there. But yeah. So then Let's say we do something like two plus two equals four. So you know it created us a calculator app, and I, I assume you could um, adjust the size of these. Uh, you know, like you're dragging it, you could adjust the size of everything. Although I'm not seeing. Ha oh yeah, there we go. Look, okay, cool. So maybe you have to go like on the bottom there. Bottom left and bottom right. Let's see if there's anything up there. That seems to be a grabber, and the plus is to create another. And then there's options here. So you know, this is kind of cool. So see if you open it, you are um, you open it, and then you got like a two, you know, a two uh, screen view, I guess you could say of it. So on the actual right side is the app it created. And on the left side seems to be the source code for the app it created. So, you know, you can go down here and edit it if you want and, and just do, you know, change stuff to your um, heart's content. So that's kind of cool. And then if you close it, you're back there. You can delete it. You got the X, which I don't know if the X deletes it or if it just um, takes it off your uh, off your environment. But that's pretty cool, you know, and, and we've seen how it made a calculator for us we'll go ahead and delete that <coughs> and you can probably do other things too I mean you know I don't know how um while they may work like let's just for example okay um character <laughs> generator for unity and yeah, that might take a minute so but it, let's see if it'll uh, create a character generator for Unity. And yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, it may not apply to everybody. I mean, you know, most people are you are pretty comfortable with what they got. They may not have a need to use something for this. Oh, you know, we got our Macs and our PCs, and then us computer people use Linux and whatever flavor of Linux we want to use so 
Okay, look, that's kind of cool. So it created, it almost looks like the layout of the calculator. <laughs> we got name, class, strength, dexterity. So you can, you have inputable fields that, you know, you can give them a name. <laughs> okay, class, strength. You can choose strength, whether you um, want to increase or decrease dexterity. And then you would be able to save it. I don't know if it would actually generate the character or if that's just data it saved, but that's kind of cool. Here's this screen again, so we can actually click that, and it'll show you the uh, source code, so you can go ahead and change it around if you want. I don't know what copy... C oh, okay, maybe that's copy source code. I thought it said copy card. Okay, so that's what that probably could be. You could delete it. You have other options. If you want to pull up anything, um, you know, with text, you could type something there, and like a search option thing, and that's pretty cool. But yeah, I, I definitely, I'm, I'm digging what this is about. I, I mean, I'm hoping it, it takes off and, you know, it gets a lot of attention and more people get into it and more developers, um, you know, jump on board because I think it's pretty cool. And and the fact that it's, it's, for the most part, you know, going to be free, I'm sure there's going to be, you know, special apps that some developers may may make and they may want to charge and, and you know people can pay if they want and there there's probably going to be a lot of you know I don't know if it goes by the whole you know the whole um, open source software free open source software if, if that's one of the thing you know with Linux and stuff and I mean I'm sure there's going to be a lot of, of free software for it too but you know there's there's that's up to the developers whether they want to make you know special apps and say well you know this one I put in a lot of work in and it's kind of special I'm going to charge a little bit for it and whatnot and, and that'll be the option of of people having the choice to you know buy paid apps or probably use um, free software but I, I was pretty impressed like <laughs> when I when I first looked at this discovery store that I was like okay you know I, I didn't see the the um, categories here and I was like okay that's you know that's cool that's kind of makes sense they're just it, it's uh, you know fresh um fairly new that's what there is for it but I, I didn't see the tabs so then you know once you go to popular then you're like oh okay and you start clicking and, and keeps going and keeps going and, and you know there's quite a bit and I, I don't know if these are um you know if these may be Linux <laughs> applications that they so oh, snap you know like in Ubuntu snap well that snaps in you know something like that or, or what they are or if they're you know, if they've been in, in the works for this for a long time, but there is quite a bit. And I, I don't know, you know, if, if these are all free or not. I mean, you know, we can just click and, and see your own personal Minecraft world manager. But I mean, for the moment, it seems like they are. I'm, I'm sure in the, in the future, you know, there is going to be um, paid apps as well. And maybe they'll have a section, you know, maybe they'll section it off and they'll have like, you know, it, discovery free apps and then like discovery paid apps or whatnot but um that's pretty cool i definitely like what they're doing here it, it's you know the whole like click and drag to create a little window and, and to do what you want with it is kind of cool to create an a ai you know create an app with ai is, is pretty amazing and, and yeah I, I'm, I'm hoping it, it stays free you know for the the core part and that they just you know um and they just for um, purchases you know just maybe introduce apps that it, it's it's per the user's choice whether they want that app or, or not you know I'm, I'm i'm hoping they don't like okay we're gonna start charging for space os now monthly fee you know and and whatnot if they keep it free then that's gonna be cool for everybody you know and like i said with, with developers having the own choice to charge um for the app, for their their apps if they want to that's pretty cool but I just wanted to kind of look at it you know I, I thought it was pretty interesting I have a feeling I'm gonna mess with it you know I'm gonna tinker with it and, and maybe get into some of the see if um see how the VS because you know for for school we use code spaces and that's what I think it is Visual Studio Code so I'm wondering if if you know I, I could do some of the, the the practice school stuff maybe create a little window in here and just mess with it and, and see because I, I think they have to like piggyback to github for that and whatnot but um i definitely think it's pretty sweet you know that the 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 nice you know the module modularity if if you want to call it where you can just move things how you want it and then you you see they apply to your uh your little window space so you see if i move that like way over there see how it jumped over there 
so it gives you an overview of, of everything that's on your um and and i want to say horizon is the desktop whereas you know space os is actually the name of the operating system so you know you can uh move things on your horizon desktop and they'll adjust there and then if, if you just you know i'm scrolling down to move over this way and then when you scroll up with your mouse wheel it goes back to um, you know back to your space and then when you click in here you can click and drag you know I can go back to my space but since there's nothing that way I can't you know it shows that but there's no it's not letting me go right because there's nothing there but definitely you know interesting I, I want to mess with it and tinker with it and put some more time into it and like I said I'm hoping they stay free that that's gonna be cool it gives people an opportunity you know to mess with an op or an operating system for free and just maybe hey you know I can adapt this to working and, and some people may really really you know and then in, in places where they may not have you know like computers or hardware yet I mean like a whole bunch of computers I mean that seems to be the thing you know but maybe more you know in, impoverished regions but you know they if they, they don't have and I'm wondering you know if it, I don't with the web browsing operating system you may not need like top of the line you, you may be able to do this on your phone you know, I, I don't know. I, I myself, you know, I like using a traditional mouse and keyboard. I don't do like productivity stuff on my phone as much. But I mean, that would be an option too. You know, a lot of people use their tablets that are a little bigger, and you know, are these people with their um, iPads and Apple Pen and whatnot? So you can kind of, you know, and it, it is a canvas. You know, you can, uh, you can basically, if you want to delete everything, boom, just delete that. You know, that video or or whatever, just delete the videos. And I, I kind of liked the videos they're kind of cool and uh you could just have a clear clean canvas you know and or you can just come over here and make yourself a clean canvas and just install you know if you want a big like tsh, something like that where you can do a bunch of text or maybe you want that for a uh, the visual studio code app make it that big and just do your thing there and say okay i'm gonna go back and check some videos here and do it all all in one app in one space without um having to uh, leave anything that's pretty cool and then you know if, if you don't want to make an app after all you know you do that you just if you don't choose anything you just click out of it it just seems like it cancels it so it's definitely pretty sweet I'm, I'm hoping you know people get into it and then there's some more uh, stuff that they incorporate with it but I'm um, right on you know I just I wanted to do something different I haven't did really much else than music um, for my channel from geez probably last couple of years but you know I, I am kinda getting back into my more computer stuff and I'm trying to develop a game I got a couple of characters for it and I'm, I'm trying to get into the animation phase and maybe just sketch out like a nice intro cutscene you know it's, it's easier said than done but I think for the mo you know the, the character work is looking good like the, the the artwork and whatnot it's just scaling them to actual usable characters you know I'm um, considering what engine I'm gonna use is what I I have a lot to let's just say I still have a lot to um, go towards my journey there but I'm, I'm feeling more confident in that but I'm I'm gonna go ahead and bounce you know because I do actually got some school stuff I gotta take care of so now now we gotta jump into some uh, some studying but let's go ahead and see how we log out so you know it this seems to be like a you know like your start button like your windows start menu so we have various options there once again we got the settings you know if there's any apps you download I, I assume you just click that nothing found because I don't have you know any apps um let's see what that does add okay yeah add to horizon so you know we can do a, a quick a uh, quick uh, section there to add something to our desktop but I'm gonna go ahead and log out <coughs> so let's go ahead and log out and then you know we click log out and there's a couple options there so if, if you want to confirm the logout you can if you want to cancel teletype I'm wondering if that's like <laughs> you know if we can do a, a Linux commands like a sudo space shutdown space now I don't know close obviously that would be if you want to close that box and cancel I assume with two so let's confirm let's go ahead and see how we um, get out of here alright and that was that that's kinda cool guys I'm uh, definitely you know feeling it I'm, I'm thinking you know some people get into it and it's just it's cool to have something like this you know I mean 
and and I'm I'm thinking you know we we got free operating systems we got Linux but you know I'm mean, and you got bootable live flash drive that you can do with Linux too you know so that's kind of cool you could take it with you but I mean this is just on the cloud you know you just log in and boom you know with the flash drive you got to put it in the computer <laughs> you got to choose the boot from the flash drive you know or you just got to stay on your operating system on your computer so the, the modularity of this is going to be cool you know some somebody can work you know they could do something at their desktop you know where, when they're at home and then they might be on the road somewhere and have an iPad or an Android tablet or their phone and they might be like oh I need to edit you know something really cool. I mean you know as as it's saying now, you know, at, at it's we're in its early beginning stages, and to not use, you know, um, Space OS for critical work. But I'm I'm sure you know for maybe like simpler things, like maybe if somebody had to take jot of some notes or, or some, you know, something that it has in there, maybe a certain app like a messaging app or something. I mean, I I could see starting something off on your your laptop or your desktop, and then hitting the road and having your phone. Or your iPad or iPhone or your Android tablet, and just being able to log into your data space, or if you want to call it Space OS, and have your Horizon desktop there, and be able, being able to go and edit, you know, those files or something. That's pretty cool. I mean, you know, we have apps, you know, cloud-based apps like you got the, the what is it, the Microsoft Office 365 and stuff like that, you know, productivity. But you know, that's just based to that. You know, this is going to be an operating system, and you know. We may see games in here. Next thing you know, we're going to have triple A games coming to data that you could play over the cloud and, you know, whatnot. There's already a ton, tons of what seem to be, you know, maybe productivity based apps and, you know, maybe simpler based ones and whatnot. So it, it's definitely, you know, cool just to see that many apps too, you know. So there's alternatives to, you know, your Windows and your Mac. Yeah, or OS X and Linux. You know, I I like Linux myself. I use Windows too, you know, for my games and just there is a lot of mainstream apps on Windows that, you know, you kind of gotta that you can't get in other places. So you're kind of sometimes stuck in that Windows environment. But maybe some of those will be, you know, maybe we'll see some of those more commercial apps. They'll make it to um data. But I definitely like what it is, and I'm hoping that it takes off and and people get into it, and we could just you know see it boom just blossom you know that it, it's early so give it some time you know hopefully you know there's a lot of stuff that comes out and then it doesn't take off take off and then the developers kind of get distraught and they don't want to continue working on it anymore and it just stays out there or they cancel it but I'm, I'm hoping this you know just continues to evolve from what it is but i'm all right you know that's about it for me i, I actually got some some study and I got to do, but um, you know, your boy Freestyle Steve just thought I'd jump into um, Data Space, you know, Data Space OS, or you could just call it Space OS. Pretty cool, you know. And really, that's all it is. It's it's free for now. Like I said, you username or email and a password, and you are logged into a cloud-based desktop slash operating system with um apps and other um you know options it's in its very early stages so you know it may not have everything don't expect it you know to be like a full-blown windows yet or you know um OS X or linux or whatever but over time you know i, I can see where maybe it could take off and, and you could just log in and have your psh, hundreds of apps and you know games or whatever productivity and tool utilities and tools there okay um your boy fr double e i am clocking out you guys have a good one peace